Karg! Karg! Hello, we're here for another dip review, of course. It feels like it's been a long time, because my last two videos did the Q&A video, lots of fun. Uh, full bag of chew, less fun. The video came out good. So we're here for another dip review, and uh, a little disappointed. I went to the store, had something in mind that I wanted to review, and they didn't have it. But I wanted to record a review, and uh, I just kind of had this laying around, and I figured, well... I want to make a review, and my opinion has changed completely on it, so I'm going to re-review it. I recorded it, the review uh, in, over the summer or in the spring, something like that. And that would be Copenhagen Southern Blend. Copenhagen Southern Blend. I just ate a chocolate-covered strawberry. It was quite good. I'm a little hyper today. Please excuse me. Or don't. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so yes, Copenhagen Southern Blend. Uh, let's jump right into it. That was a good chocolate-covered strawberry. Did I mention I just had a chocolate-covered strawberry? So, presentation. <laughs> Very nice looking can. Um, I just, I like the southern, it just has a southern, I don't know. You have the kind of brownish, fades into kind of a, a yellow, orange kind of thing. I like, I like the way it looks. It's a nice can, but Copenhagen, they never... <laughs> They never, they, all their cans are sharp. They do not have an ugly can. Yeah, fucking soothing bloomed. And the date we have is sell by March 30th, 2014. Of course, metal lid. <laughs> I don't know why I get such a kick out of that. Plastic bottom, typical, except for Cope LC and Cope Snuff and Copenhagen Original Pouches. Speaking of Cope Snuff, um, I got a tin of it, and pretty soon I'm gonna record a video on how to dip it for beginners and whatnot. So look out for that. Makes a different sound when it hits the fucking desk. Southern Blend. Hope not. Kind of muted. Sounds great. So let's uh, open her up and take a whiff. It smells like... Um, it smells like shit. I used to like it and people would say, this shit smells like dirt. I'm like, nah, it smells good. It smells like fucking dirt now. Doesn't smell good. Mm. Don't like the smell of it at all. But let's pack a lip. Or pack a loop. Let's get cracking. Let's get packing. Joey, let's dip in back here for another dip review. Yeah, got a little bit more than half a can here. Quite dark. Very good. So I guess it's high time we pack a lip. Because I haven't packed a lip in the last two videos. So let's pack a lip. Pack a lip with me. Let's share the experience. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me today, I'm all. Woo! Okay. Nice little pinch right here. And line that shit up. All the people I talk to on Skype, apparently my lining up habit, my OCD has caught on to others. Most of them. Everyone's like, oh, you know, because of you, I have to line my tins up. You're welcome. Mmm. <coughs> Tasted like chocolate covered strawberry. Blue fire in my jug because blue is my favorite color. Ever. Green is second, oddly enough, my shirt represents that the flavor uh, <laughs> I used to like it I used to explain it I used to say it was um, Cope LC with a country twist or this is how I said it country twist um kind of a sweet tea kind of thing and now I just like uh, I don't know something about it man I used to like it but then I dipped it too much and now it's just too sweet it, it tastes to me like a natural trying to be a a sweet dip and something's wrong with that I don't know I don't I don't like that anymore it doesn't taste artificial or anything but it's it's just a natural trying to be sweet and to, to, for me that doesn't work comparison I really can't compare it um, I mean it does have a hint of Cope LC in there so I guess I'd say Cope LC but it's that it's nothing like Cope LC at all but if I had to compare it I guess I'd go with that but it tastes nothing like it so it's a mid-cut like most Copenhagen's um, 
it's not quite as mid-cut as Cope LC, but it's mid-cut in terms of like black and stuff like that. Yeah, mid-cut, not a bad cut. Packability, as long as you're good at mid-cuts, it should be fine. I have no problem with it whatsoever. Fine for me, should be fine for you. Its texture is weird because if you get a tin, first couple pinches, first couple lifts, it's gonna seem very soft. As you go through the tin, it seems to get rougher. It's because it's not, but it seems that way. It can be rough on the gums if you dip it a lot, believe it or not. It can be a little bit rough, so you do get a little bit of a burn after a while. I'm not yet, but a couple lips later, or by the end of this tin, that's just, that's a pinch and a half for me. Mm. Hate when you're left with half. It'll probably burn next lip. Maybe, I maybe not. Nicotine, I don't feel anything. Typically, I don't. Unless it's Grizzly or Cope Snuff, I don't really get a buzz anymore. Sometimes I'll get a little bit if I pack a big enough lip, but like this, not really feeling much. I'll give it this. It does have a good amount of spit and pretty dark spit. Let me demonstrate for you. <laughs> okay, I take that back. It's not dark. It's in the, it's in the middle. It's medium dark. But you do get a good amount of spit with it. And last ability. It lasts a little bit longer than Cope LC does or Cope Snuff. It doesn't last as long as obviously Cope Wintergreen or whatever. But it lasts probably about the same as like Copenhagen Black. It lasts a good amount of time. If you put a lip like this in, 45 minutes-ish, give or take. Depends on the size of the lip. But for me it lasts pretty good. And aftertaste. Well, I don't like the taste of it while it's in. And it just kind of leaves that lingering taste in there for a while, so... Mm, half the taste isn't so good, but half the taste really don't bother me that much. Easy to get rid of. But, um... Yeah, it just leaves that weird, sweet, kind of natural thing in there. Natural shouldn't be sweet. Because it's not a natural dip, but to me it tastes like a natural dip imitating a sweet dip. That's, that's literally what disturbs me. That might sound ridiculous. But that's, that's actually why it disturbs me. That's why I don't like it anymore. I have some shout-outs somewhere here. Is this it? Okay, it is. Yes, we have shout-outs. That's fucking right, doggy. Uh, not a lot, though. A uh, huge shout-out to my, my, my best friend, Jared, Tennessee Dipper. Here's the link. Uh, check him out, please. He makes great videos. Uh, if you don't check him out, I'll kick your asshole in. Check him out, please. Funny videos. He's funny. Gives a nice thorough dip review like I do. He edits his videos, all that. And that also goes for Rocky Top Dipper, my brother, Hunter. Um, a lot of his style, my style has rubbed off on him because he said I'm the reason he started making reviews. He makes great videos. They're edited, they're edited as well. Check him out. Also, my friend Jordan, the Bluegrass Dipper. Great videos as well. He's just starting out, but his videos are good right from the start. Check him out. And my friend Isaiah, Dipski for the Lipski. And we only have a few rotators today. That would be Skylar Brady, Possum McAwesome, and Clench McFisty. Check him out. And number of subscribers, we're already up to 9,271. I love you all, and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Keep dipping and spitting. And now it's time for the rating. I want to think... My other review, I gave it like an 8. Um, yeah, I don't like it anymore. I'm gonna give it a 4. And would I ever dip it again? Honestly, no. And that says a lot, because I'm, 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 I'm huge on Copenhagen. I never have a bad thing to say about Copenhagen. I love all the Copenhagens, except for straight, because I don't like straight dips in general. Not just because it's Copenhagen. If I liked straights, I'd probably like it. Uh, I will admit the Copenhagen straight is the least worst straight I've had, and I dropped my 10. I even like Cope Whiskey and Cope Hickory, which most people hate. I love Copenhagen, so the fact that I don't like this says a lot. Um, yeah, I wouldn't dip it again. 4 out of 10. And, uh, yeah, sorry I couldn't review what I wanted to today, but that'll be coming soon, because I'll find it somewhere. Anyways, that's been the dip review. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.